In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up home searches for your contacts that go out the first time and then also send them updates. So as we can see here, I have an email that I received from myself, so me being the customer, and the email shows that there's updates to my saved search, and then I can click the button to view my saved search. Then there's another section here with the name of the search, price and updates, the, any properties that are in here, and then it has my uh, signature, the download my app call to action, and then the logos. Uh, we're looking at resizing those logos now to see if we can get those um, to show up a little less stretched. Now, for those of you that notice that this is coming from kw.com, that is who is showing up in the re uh, return is listings at kw.com but when they hit reply it does come back to you the agent so although the send says from kw the reply does go to us and our leads which is a good thing all right so now you need to know how to set people up on these home searches um, my suggestion is if this is a customer that's going to be shopping for a long time they're just kind of getting an idea for the market, or maybe they're a, uh, a real estate lead, but they're not yet somebody that's super active, then these are great drips to put them on. I think if we have somebody that we're actively working with uh, to buy a house, they're qualified, they're ready to go, they wanna find something now, I will probably still put them in my MLS drip because I think that's going to be, I'm, I'm able to uh, use more fields, and it's going to be a uh, quicker turnaround time. So that's how I'm doing it. I'm not telling you guys how to do it, but that's how I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. So these home searches are great for cult, when we're curating, when we're cultivating these leads, okay? So here's how we set them up. We go over here to contacts and you find the person that you wanna set up. Now we're just gonna use me as an example. I'm in here as a contact. Looks like I'm in there a couple times as a contact. Let me see what the other one has here. Okay, we'll do this one. All right, so what we can see is on the right-hand side, there is a notification that Lori Ballin updated saved search, Lori's home search at 7.06 on September 11th. Now, I actually didn't edit anything with the home search. I think what that's indicating is that it was sent out because there were changes on these searches. So let's take a look at how we set up a saved search. So you're in the contact record, you go to the right-hand side and you click the button that says saved search. As you can see here, I have something called Lori's home search. 300 to 600,000, four bedrooms. Now let's add another one so you can see how to create a saved search for your contact. Click the plus sign or click the create saved search. Now you can search by neighborhood, by zip code. You can search an area on the map by pulling up the map. So I was doing this yesterday because in my neighbor, in my where I live, um, I live in Las Vegas, but my the area I work real estate and live in myself is called Summerlin. And inside Summerlin, we have forty thousand homes, and we have more than a couple dozen villages. Well, each one of these little areas is like a separate village, and not all of them are coming up correctly when I do a neighborhood search. So what I might want to do is go in here and select the ones that I want to be in here that I know for a fact would be Summerlin. So for example, for some reason I can pull up the Vistas South or the Vistas North, but they're separate enough where if I just wanted the Vistas, it, it, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way in my MLS either. So that's not just a command thing. It's just a Summerlin thing. <laughs> but you might have this in your area, something like this where your neighborhoods maybe aren't, uh, the boundaries aren't where you want them. I can't pull all of Summerlin, so I have to do it this way. 
it's just the way it is and this is also Summerlin it won't let me pull those in I'm not sure why and okay so the willows yes okay so once I get all the areas that I want in there I'm gonna click next and I, now I'm gonna call this Summerlin homes now remember they will see this in that email that gets sent out we were able to see the name of the search now do you want to send them email notifications updates if yes then toggle that on now you have an option where you can send an email to your client when new homes match the criteria and of course they can unsubscribe they can change their search they can change their notification preferences but now how often do you want them to get an email do you want them to get it instant when something changes and it'll send within 30 minutes do you want to just send them once a day at 9 a.m a weekly summary a bi-weekly summary or a monthly summary and it specifically says sends on mondays at 9 a.m so in my i always have a hard time converting time zones without looking but i'm two hours behind central so here on Pacific time, that would be 7 a.m. that they get it. And I believe on the East Coast, then that means they get it at 10 a.m. If I did that conversion correctly, don't, don't quote me, but that's, that's what, so that's going to be a uh, Texas time there, right? Okay. So then we're going to um, choose what we want. Let's just say we want them to get it every day. I, I'm going to put it on instant. I just want to test it and see how much of this stuff I actually get. And then I'm going to click create saved search. Now you can see the search is here and it's going to go out to them as soon as it updates here and then it will send them an email each time it's updated. You can edit the search anytime by clicking the pencil. Also, you know, we put in the neighborhoods, but I didn't put in the criteria. Let's finish that out. So uh, property criteria. So let's say they have up to 600,000 they can spend and you know that they're not looking below the bread and butter houses the average price range either so we'll put in a little range now in my particular case i'm a, i'm the buyer in this case i'm looking for a pool well they don't give us the mls field for a pool so the best i can do is type in pool and hopefully it will only give me searches where pool is somewhere in the keywords okay so we'll test that now property type I only want to look at houses so for right now in this search so I'm going to get rid of count condos in my market townhomes are more similar to houses so I'm going to leave townhomes in there for now and then listing status you don't want them to get alerts when something is necessarily when it's pending or under contract at least I wouldn't so I'm going to do active and coming soon and then how many baths do you want it to have? So for me, I'm going to do at least two. Uh, oh, year of home. Why won't? Okay, there we go. Let's start here. Uh, number of bedrooms, I'm going to do at least three. Year built. So I could do, I only want newer than 2,000 maybe. To, oh, that's the range. So 2,000 to, well, we'll just keep it current. to 2,020. Living area, I'm going to do at least 1,500 square feet, and I really don't want more than 2,500 square feet in my case. It's funny because I used to say, why, why would you put in a max square footage? Why wouldn't people just want a bigger house? And now that I'm <laughs> empty nesting, I'm like, no, I don't want bigger than that. Now I get it. Okay, and then has parking doesn't apply, doesn't apply to me in Vegas. This is not a garage here so this I forget where there's areas they were talking about where this applies it's not it's not Vegas so if it if you don't know that this applies to you leave that unchecked do you want to send homes that are that have an open house or do you only want to send homes that the price was reduced in the last seven days I use those for Facebook ads so that might be something now that we can do so for example ooh, this is good for example I ran an ad saying see all homes that just listed in Summerlin South I'm sorry see all homes that were just reduced in Summerlin South in the last seven days so I got a bunch of leads well now I could put those leads on this home search drip 
and only send them homes in Summerland that have re price reduced in the last seven days. So it's giving them exactly what the ad called for. They were able to go look at the at the leads that day, but now we can also put them on that list. We could call it that exact thing, Summerland Homes just reduced in the last seven days, and now we can send it to them once a week, whatever, to keep those things going, right? Keyword field has unsaved keyword. Unsaved? I don't see a spot. Oh, maybe I have to hit return. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you have to hit return for a pool to go in there. Okay, now we're going to click next. And I'm going to, like I said, choose to get this instantly. And then we're going to save the search. Ah, that's perfect. All right, so that's how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and link this uh, video to that ad the one I just told you about where we ran it, we tested it, and then we built a smart plan for it. And now you know that we can also go put them on these home searches. That's also a great way to cultivate that. I'm Lori Ballen. I have a real estate team in Vegas. We serve Henderson, North Las Vegas, Boulder City, and of course, Summerlin, Las Vegas. Thanks for thinking about us.